Hi everyone, this video is for English 115 and hard to believe, but we are in module seven this week. So let me share my screen. We're gonna take a look. Let's hope I have my computer set up. I'm kind of uh, in a new environment. I'm usually recording from home, but this week I am recording from the office. So let me quick minimize. Here we go. Module seven and where we're at is in activities and assignment. And as you can see, there are only there is only one submission for this week, one activity. However, your resources are there to help you do this. So the test analysis essay, the final draft is due. Uh, you need to upload that Sunday by midnight. Now, I, in the resource sections, just so you know, there are resources and all of these relate to your paper in support of it in some way, shape or form. So for example, there's an instruction video on the test analysis essay. So I actually go over um, the instructions and the grid worksheet. Then you'll see in each of these chapters, there's actually a template in case you lost the grid worksheet template, you can download that and, and go through that. Uh, hopefully anything you need is here as a resource in order to help you revise and put the finishing touches on your essay. You may or may not need all of these items, but uh, things like even the MLA, how to do MLA in your computer, what a thesis statement is, information on that, and then of course the grading rubric that this essay is going to be measured on. So in this particular module, in module seven, let me get there a second, in the activities, this is the only activity. So when you click into it, I also once again provide you with some files with information. This is a repeat of the information you're going to find in the resources. Um, not all of them are here, but the key ones like the uh, grid worksheet in case you need that, the grading rubric, and then of course the instructions for the essay. Now, hopefully you've already done the draft and you uploaded that. Uh, that was due uh, Sunday, March 7th by midnight. And so what's going to be happening this week, my goal right away on Monday the 8th, is to go through them and give you feedback on your draft in order to help you improve it so that you may score the way you want to score on the final draft. So this, uh, this particular, the final draft, the one worth major points, that is not due until March 14th. But your draft, you should have already uploaded that draft March 7th. And that draft, like I said, March 8th, uh, my goal is to go through and give you feedback. So you'll see a sheet come back or you'll see comments come back when the grade is posted in ways that you either did well, you're meeting what needs to be met with the instructions and the criteria, or some guidance of things that need to be changed or improved in order for you to score successfully when you submit the final draft the final essay for grading. So when you, the drafting, uh, that's not something to get too worked up about with a grade. The grade is not worth very many points at all on the draft. The purpose of the draft is for me to give you feedback. So it's kind of like a conference. Where the points are, are in the final grading. Uh, so this particular essay is worth 100 points on the final submission. So when you upload March 14th before midnight, that final version, you want it to be the best that you can. We are measuring writing criteria as well as content. What does that mean? That means make sure you are using MLA format and document design. Adhere to that criteria. If you don't remember what that is, go back, review those resources. Make sure you are uploading on Microsoft Office Word because formatting is something that I look at and I check. Uh, make sure it's in the correct readable file format. The other thing is that make sure you have content, that you have the introduction and it's clear. And within that, you have a thesis statement and the thesis statement is very clear. And then you have each of the sections that are uh, indicated within the instructions, including uh, conclusions. And 
And um, of course, if you have questions or anything like that, you're welcome to reach out. One of the things I would encourage you very strongly on this before you upload the final draft is to get an online writing consultation and go over that. And that will definitely help you. Uh, and it also gives you that one-on-one -on -one conference with someone of looking over and improving and making suggestions because you want to make sure that you submit this essay at a successful level. You want it at a 73.4 or higher. So good writing does not come on one shot and out. It's not one and done. It is through a series of revisions. It's a recursive process. So you wanna give yourself enough time to revise and improve. So build in some time for a writing consultation this week. And then give yourself time in between reading. So if you've worked on a draft Tuesday, give yourself a day, come back and visit it Thursday because your brain will see things after a period of time that while you're writing the moment writing, it will miss. So my word of encouragement to you, do not procrastinate on this particular essay, the final submission, because it is worth a lot of points, but also just because uh, that's your best shot at scoring as high as you wanna score on this. So that's it for this week. And uh, I hope uh, you are on track with everything. As always, reach out to me with any kinds of questions or concerns and uh, happy writing.